The Smiths, Vicar and a Tutu. All right, we're going to get into this one. Uh, this was requested, and I think the person said that this was what they thought is The Smiths' funniest song. And so, yeah, I'm, I like uh, when Morrissey is funny. And, yeah, we're going to find out if that's the case here. Uh, this is not a lyrics video. I couldn't find a lyrics video. But I have the lyrics on the side over there, so I know what's being said. So, yeah, let's just get into this and see what it's all about and see if it's funny. All right. I was minding my business, lifting some lead off the roof of a home in a church. It was worthwhile living a laughable life, setting my eyes on the distant side of a good to do. It's not strange, he just wants to live his life this way. A sketchy bitch of a thing, a wind that takes me to bring, wouldn't cover that. Okay, so yeah, that was, I guess the premise of the song is pretty much the funny part. Uh, there are some funny uh, lyrics in there. And uh, I really liked Morrissey's vocals. Um, and I like the effect at the end, I guess. And also, I see on the side here, on Genius.com, uh, it says, or, well, that this is from the album The Queen is Dead. And I noticed that there's only one song I haven't heard from this album now, which is Never Had No One Ever. I don't think I've listened to that. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to have to listen to that at some point to finish off this whole album. But anyway, that's an aside. Uh, I guess we'll just see, uh, read the bio of this song, if, uh, if there is one. So it just says, a bouncy song that criticizes the Catholic Church in a fun, clever way. It's one of those rare ones by the Smiths that isn't really sad. Uh, so, yeah, uh, it says, supposedly, Johnny Marr claimed in an NME interview that he wrote the musical arrangement to fit Morrissey's mischievous lyrics for the tune. So, yeah, 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 there's some information. And yeah, I guess the whole bio is pretty much, I mean, you can figure it out on your own of what Morrissey and the boys are doing here. And uh, so yeah, with the first verse, uh, some annotations. Uh, a church located in the Smith's native Manchester with a roof does that doesn't exactly look easy to climb. The first verse is about someone doing something unlawful. Uh, the, the, this person sees their actions as normal, but the person sees the vicar in a tutu as weird slash different. All right. And then we got to set my eyes on the blister in sight. And then it goes on to the chorus of a vicar in a tutu. He's not strange. He just wants to live his life this way. And uh, so it says the man of God is child, childishly happy, blissfully ignorant of social pressures. Somewhat of a comment on happiness, naivety, and the backwards nature of the social pressures that stop us from doing what we want to do or being who we want to be. Uh, and then it goes on. Uh, in the book, Meetings with Morrissey, uh, 
by Lynn Brown meant it as a salute to an unnamed cross-dressing comedian he knew who was previously a vicar. Well. And then somebody also added, they said this was Johnny Myers play on the rockabilly tone and his influence from the Velvet Underground. This was also cited as one of Morrissey's lighter songs and potentially a filler amongst a great album. And yeah, I can kind of see it from that way. It is just a bouncy, uh, funny song and uh, could be seen as filler, I guess, from like other tracks on this album uh, that were more meaningful, I guess you could say, in a way. So then we go into this third verse and it says the monkish uh, Monsignor uh, with a head full of plaster. So... This is Mons Monsigner is a form of a address for clergy members holding honorific titles. Morrissey, who is known for being critical of the <coughs> Frick. Catholic Church, thinks otherwise, cleverly debasing what the title represents. And uh, again, I'm not surprised with what Morrissey is saying here. Like it says, he's kind of against the Catholic Church, at least back here in the 80s when they all started, you know. And then, uh, so then we go on. It says, said my man, get your vial of soul dry cleaned as Rose counts the money in the canister. Morrissey implies that he thinks the Catholic Church is more concerned with the financial aspects of the church than actually trying to convert people. Uh, so there's his opinion there. Uh, as natural as rain, he dances again, my God. And I just like how he said, my God. I don't know. I liked how they added that for a lyric. A vicar dressed in a tutu is a normal thing in the eyes of the author. The way Morrissey sings, my God, seems to indicate simultaneously a certain pleasure, even delight, in seeing the vicar in a tutu. Tutu is also a laughable sight. So yeah, I just like how he delivered that line, I guess, altogether. And then we got the last thing from the outro. And I am living, I am the living sign. So it says a living sign is someone who walks around advertising or marketing for a product. Sometimes their body lodged between the sandwich board to do so. There may also be a pun on living in sin, uh, suggesting that, the, like the vicar in a tutu, the singer as a purveyor of art in the marketplace is caught up in a profane uh, act of commercial culture. So yeah, I mean, I can see why uh, the person requested this song and uh, how the whole premise of the song is kind of funny and odd. And uh, I wouldn't expect anything less from the Smiths. And uh, just looking at this album again, like uh, going back to that comment as uh, the song could be just like filler. I mean, you had songs like I Know It's Over, uh, Big Mouth Strikes Again. I mean, a lot of big songs were on this album. The Boy With The Thorn is In His Side, There's A Light That Never Goes Out. That's probably, I don't know, I want to say the biggest one. And uh, so, yeah, there's a lot of big songs on here. And then you got Vicar and a Tutu between uh, There's A Light That Never Goes Out and The Boy With The Thorn In His Side. So, yeah, it's just a funny song. Uh off of a great album and uh, an album that I'm almost done uh, hearing all the songs too or whatever. So yeah, I guess that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking and subscribing and commenting and all that stuff. Uh, the Smiths are one band. I guess I'll be uploading this in 2020. But uh, from 2019, they're one of the bands that I came across. And uh, I'm really glad I did. Especially with this channel. That's how I found them out was with this channel. So that's always nice. And I appreciate all the comments and uh, support and all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much. I guess that's it. I'll see you guys later, and, uh, Happy New Year, all that stuff.